All right, y'all, we're going to get you guys the updates on everything that's going on in 2K and within the 2K community. As you guys know, I don't like to waste your time, so we finna get right into it. Y'all be sure to drop a like and drop a sub if you can. You guys can help us get one step closer to 100K subscribers. We're almost there. I would like to first reference this tweet from the Czar. He says, community asked for a skill gap. We brought on high level players on the team for testing slash development. They help us tune so that shooting is a challenge, but people are still successful. Game comes comes out and community wants shooting to be easier and I got to keep it a buck with you I don't know how you guys feel about this but I felt like shooting was easier way back when when the game dropped I guess when everybody else was complaining about the game I thought shooting was absolutely great for me it was challenging enough that I had to go to the lab and master my shot timing visual cue I couldn't just go out there and shoot good without practicing I personally found that challenge intriguing and I was willing to take it on and there was nothing more satisfying than overcoming that challenge the way the game stands right now, it feels like no amount of practice will get things right. It feels like shooting is just out of our hands right now. I don't know if you guys are experiencing the same thing, but if you are, sound off in the comments section below. I definitely love your feedback. Not too long ago, I posed a question to the community on whether or not casuals or low percentage players, like 20 win percentage type players, should they have a voice? Should they be heard when it comes to gameplay development? I would like to reference this tweet from Sensei Young Swan Swan saying community might be retarded why the hell would you think a negative win percentage casual deserves the biggest voice he goes on to say they don't understand anything about nba 2k they don't know what's good for them or the game how many of you guys agree with that statement it's definitely a harsh take but is this facts I sound off. And that leads me to this next post from Coster. He says the casual should have no say in this community. Not saying they can't play the game, but they simply don't play enough to know what is best for the game. That's like someone coming into your house and telling you how to run ish. It makes no sense at all. Phantoms ended up responding to that by saying forever the dumbest take in all video games. Casuals make up most of the player base and play the game for fun, which is what video games always should be. Without casuals, video games wouldn't even survive. In my opinion, what Phantoms had to say about casuals making up the good majority of the player base is indeed facts. I believe most casuals probably wouldn't even want a say-so in gameplay development. I guess the question is, how does 2K balance the game out for the majority? majority of their player base while keeping the veterans of the game happy. It seems like that's been the biggest struggle for 2K. If you guys would like a comprehensive take on the evolution of 2K so you could better understand the history and culture of 2K, you might want to check out Swante's YouTube channel. He dropped a great comprehensive video on the evolution of 2K going way back when up until present day. It's obvious that we're in a transition phase. It's almost like 2K doesn't know who to listen or cater to. Swante believes that 2K has been catering to the casual for years. In my opinion, I respectfully disagree, or at least at the very least, the execution of 2K development wasn't directly catered to the casual player. Over the years, there have been tons of exploits within the game that 2K would have made certain to eliminate ASAP as soon as those exploits were exposed. In my opinion, if they only catered to the casual, those things would have been eliminated ASAP and we would have had 2K24 gameplay years ago. The evolution of 2K's gameplay, slowing it down, it becoming way more methodical. It has taken years to get to this point. And because we're at this point right now in regards to 2K's gameplay, it begs the question on who 2K is listening to, the casual, the Sim Nation player, or the comp player? Who is responsible for ruining 2K? And for that matter, is 2K even considered ruined. Your feedback on that would be much appreciated. I want to reference this next post from All City Big Heck. He says, I agree that people can see the game differently because of their experience, have the capability to prove more nuanced feedback. There's no questioning that. Mike Wang must see it in that way also. He wasn't in Simmerfritt's stream talking to folks. He was in Igamo's stream talking directly to some of the most comp of comp. And that resulted in the change to shot speed and closeout situations. In my opinion, the change to shot speed and close out situations is exactly what completely ruined shooting. And I'm only saying that's my opinion. It's not absolute facts. But I will add, I have been able to overcome every shooting update up until they made this change to shot timing variations when a defender is in proximity. Now I feel like the game randomly speeds up my shot and it randomly moves my green window. And because of these inconsistencies that I'm unable to hone in on this time around with this most recent shooting update, it's actually making me 
feel like 2K is becoming a chore once again. I honestly didn't want to feel like this. I'm just disappointed. I was preaching to you guys, man, go hit the lab practice, you'll get your shot down. But nowadays, I'm not feeling too confident in that statement. The shooting struggles and shooting saga in 2K continue. The second we get any additional information on shooting, we'll definitely share it here. Moving on to our next segment, I want to talk about some league gameplay. Apparently, there's some trouble with leagues paying out winnings to their players. I would like to reference this post from Video Game Takes. He says, how you get this mad because the person you owe money to ask you for that money and then praise the people that stayed quiet for months. The UBL League ended up sending out this post, adding a few players and seeing in a few others that didn't tag. I apologize for still owing you guys for winning free tournaments and paid ones. I am still working myself out of my financial issues with my personal business and league money held. I will get you guys right as soon as I can. Within this same post, this league completely insults somebody else saying you can SMD soft. You won't get a penny from me and I hope I never come across you in person. Doubling down on that says anyone else that has an issue can follow suit. I put thousands more money out my personal pocket than I could ever take from it. I will get right and I'll be back. I'm working on it as fast as I can. Do you guys believe the 2K community should cut this league owner some slack? I can't front, that's a pretty wild tweet to put out as a league owner. But because I don't have the full story, I can't really comment on this too much. But I will reference this tweet from Dynasty, apparently one of the players who's actually owed money. He said, classic, the moment you speak about where your money is, he blocks you and says he's not sending you ish. He forces you to not say anything or else you won't get a dime. We've been patient for four to five months eating up every excuse he throws at us at UBL 2K Leagues is a effing scam. I personally would like more information on this as we are hosting our own league, the All City League, ran by All City Slim, and I personally would never end up in this type of situation. One thing folks don't play about is their money. So if we're hosting a league or a tournament for cash prize or winnings, we'd have that money ready up front. If you guys would like to participate in league or tournament gameplay for cash prizes, consider joining our discord we drop pop-up tournaments here and there and you guys will be able to put some money in your pocket just for playing the game it's part of our effort to help keep the fun in 2k the link for discord will be in the description below i will be going live a little later on today to talk some more about this stuff hopefully you guys can tune in y'all be sure to keep it locked if you guys are tired of running with randoms and you're looking for players to run with on nba 2k come on out and join our discord we'd love to have you the link for discord will be in the description below i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and y'all be sure to keep it locked right here at all city live tv because we got a bunch more nba 2k24 news information and updates coming your way drop a like and drop a sub on your way out i'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream easy y'all